Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another campaign playthrough, and we are playing the Return to the Path to Carcosa. We are up to the Black Star's Rise with Patrice Hathaway, and uh, in the last scenario we only got one experience, so I didn't do any changes to the deck. Uh, during the setup we still need to figure out one uh, Pact, Madness, Detective or Cultist Weakness that will be added to our deck. We already added the minus 5 uh, to our deck, so let's see what card we get. Okay, so I'm shuffling the eligible uh, basic weaknesses and we'll get this one. And it is Stupor. So Stupor, put Stupor into play in your threat area. Stupor can be healed as if it were a single point of horror on you. If he'll discard it uh, first, after you take a parlay, draw, or investigate action, you cannot take any of those actions for the remainder of the turn. So that that is a bad one, I think. So we'll just add that to the deck. Okay, shuffle that in. So um, we were able to find our way out of the catacombs. So we know the location of the gate. Um, and uh, that uh, doesn't affect us that much. We are a, we have done the setup for this scenario. I just just noticed that I'm missing the connection locate uh, lo location connectors. So I'll just add those here quickly. Mm. So we can't move there yet. Okay. And uh, yeah, um, as usual for this campaign, we are doing the balanced reading with the tarot cards and we have the damned in play. So in the last game, we were pretty screwed with the tarot cards, but we'll see what we get this time. So let's next. Uh, do the tarot reading for this scenario. So, just a moment. Placing tarot cards over there. We'll do a quick shuffle for the tarot cards. Figure out which cards we get. So, first off, uh, we get the upright card. And it is... Uh, that one. Okay, so the world. Each investigator not defeated during this game may remove one trauma of their choice during its resolution. So, well, we have two trauma. That's maybe useful if we manage to get to the end. And the first downright is each investigator defeated during this game earns minus two experience. Well, uh, if we get defeated, it's game over, so that doesn't affect us. And uh, the last one is the final agenda of the game, and there's play with one doom on it, so that's, that's not good. Okay, well, that is the tarot reading done. So, I think we're set up with the scenario, so we'll see how this plays out. If we manage to beat this scenario, we still have the Dim Carcosa scenario to play. If not, then this is the end. So let's see what happens and uh, let's get started. Okay, and uh, we are ready to start. So we'll draw our opening hand. One, two, three, four, five. Redrawing weaknesses, of course. I don't think open gate is that good at the start. Beast of Relay times one is okay. Guts and Promise of power is okay. So we'll keep those and draw. Well, Miss Doyle is good and unexpected courage. So we'll shuffle the rest back per the Mulligan rules. So, um, hoping to hit the cat that helps us investigate because that's really useful. Mist of Relay lets us uh, dodge any uh, enemies we run across. But we'll see how this plays out. So, uh, first off, let's first play Miss Doyle. Miss Doyle costs three. 
and uh, we have the cats here so let's see what uh, which one we get and we get uh, zeal well it's a fighting one not that good so that's annoying we'll shuffle the rest into our deck okay well Mm, we have some boost cards to investigate, so I think uh, we'll try investigating first. And I'm investigating, uh, I'll use the promise of power. We'll add one curse token to the bag. Investigating uh, six versus three. I'll go eight versus three. And it is an auto fail. Well, of course. Well, how else would we start this game? I'll just for my last action play the mists. So I have that in play and that won't lose that card. That is our turn. No enemies will discard our hand. Go to upkeep. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that is a shame. Well, it is what it is, so that is that round. We'll gain a resource. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well... Mm, well, I, at least I have to read the signs if I want to investigate, but I will add Doom. Uh, in this scenario we have two agenda decks, so I'll start with this one. So I'll add one here. Encounter card is the pale mask beckons if the man in the pallet mask is in play uh, he attacks each investigator if not uh, search his peers deck and discard pile for him draw him and shuffle him his peers deck okay so we'll search for the man in the pallet mask shuffle our deck And uh, one, two, three, one, two, okay, so the man in the pallet mask spawns over there, and we'll just ignore it for now. Okay, um, well, first action for this round is... Um, we'll get a resource. Second action, we'll investigate using the read the signs. <laughs> Another auto fail. We are so unlucky in this game. Well, it is what it is. La uh, let's see. So first action, investigate. Oh no, resource, investigate. We'll investigate again, committing Patrice's violin, the mysterious raven, to the test. So, four versus three. Elder sign. Well, at least something. So, uh, we'll shuffle everything but the gods. These get added later, or actually after. So. Do this. Okay, well, at least we got one clue. And that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We discard our hand. Draw our hand. One, two, three, four, five. We got Ogre, which we will play next round. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we can investigate better. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another do, and count the card is twisted to his will. If there is no doom play, uh, otherwise there is one uh, or two. Otherwise, just will power two. Where okay, so do. so testing four versus two. I'm committing guts. So six versus two. Minus two, we draw a card. Patrice's violin. Okay. Uh, 
first action we'll play uh, so Zeal goes into the discord, we'll get Ogre in play. Second action, we'll move to Grand Rue. Uh, it is a one shroud location with one clue. Last action, we'll use Ogre to investigate. Five versus one. I'll go seven versus eight versus one. Nine versus one. Skull, uh, skull is a minus x. X is the highest amount of doom. Uh, so it's two. So we still grab this clue, and that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We discard this. We draw five. One, two, three, four, five. Stray cat, promise of power, Mr. of relay, wing it, and last chance. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, uh, we'll add a doom over here. Encounter card is another twisted to his will. So uh, we are four versus three. I'll go. I'll use the promise of power. So uh, we are eight versus three. Zero, we pass. Okay. Then, um, first thing we do is we'll move over to the broken steps. After you enter the broken steps, you must either lose one action or draw the topmost omen treasure in the encounter discard pile. We don't have any omens there, so we lose an action. Okay, uh, we'll go to the North Tower. Four Shroud, one Clue. While the current uh, current A agenda has more Doom on it than the current C agenda, and reduce the difficulty of each skill test at the North Tower by one. Uh, well, uh, it isn't, so that's a shame. We discard our hand. Draw on your hand, one, two, three, four, five. Still no weaknesses, we get manual dexterity, perception, we get uh, spectral razor and hope. And we gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, four of five. Encounter card is uh, making a uh, mark by the sign. The spill part two. If you fail, take two horror. If the man in the battle mass is in play, horror dealt by this effect is considered direct and this test gets plus two difficulty. So we are testing uh, four versus four. Uh, I'll commit the spectral razor because we don't have any enemies. So five versus four. It is uh, minus four, so we fail. We take two horror, and that is direct horror. Okay, well, that's not that bad yet. Okay, and uh, first action. We'll investigate using Ogre. I'll use Perception for this test. So, seven versus four. Uh, I'll go 8 versus 4. Uh, 8 versus 4 is enough. It's minus 4, so we grab this clue. We also get a card. It is cornered. I will play cornered for my second action. And uh, last action, we'll move over here. Just check. So, um, I need the pallet mask attacks you because I move there. So, we take one horror and I can place it anywhere. So, I'll put, put it on Mr. Doyle. That is our turn. Uh, we'll do, no enemies will discard our hand. We draw 
Our new hand, one, two, three, four, five. Still no weaknesses. Uh, okay. And we get a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we are a doom, so the agenda advances. Blue stars didn't. Uh, demise. So shuffle the encounter discard pod and both set aside copies of Rift Seeker into the encounter deck. Check current agenda A if it has it one if agenda A one A has two of your doom and it mark one conviction in your campaign log. So we mark one conviction in our campaign log. Okay. So now each monster enemy gets plus one fight. Uh, we can still spend clues to place Doom on this agenda. Okay, so I'm just marking the conviction so I won't forget. So now I have two conviction and four doubts. Okay, and uh, we shuffle the Rift Seekers. Uh, these two. To the encounter deck along with the discard pile. Okay. Quick shuffle, and we'll get an encounter card and continue from there. So the bail mass beckons, so again, we really take a damage or, or a horror. Okay, well, uh, I think we'll move in to the Abbey Church. So we spend three clues to move in. So, if there are not are two agendas in play with different agenda numbers, Abbey Church gets plus two shroud. Pause. When Abbey Church is revealed, put the set aside. Uh, Joyer, Katik, Knights Hall, Cloister, Chapel of St. Over and Abbey Tower locations in the play. So I'm just doing a bit of shuffling to get everything fitted onto the map. This is a bit... I'll, I'll just put this guy here. He's still there. Okay, so we get on to the rest of the locations. And these are over here. Okay, let's see. How do we fit this here? So, this is connected to two locations. And where is the store? There's the store. Abbey Tower is over here. Move those over there. They don't particularly affect my game at the moment. Okay, well, I think that's everything. We'll just mark the location connections here. So we still can't move here. We can move there. Uh, we can move. We can't move there yet. We can move there. Or here. And these are connected. Okay. Well, um, we can investigate this location. Second action. Thinking, should I uh, investigate the man in the pallet mask to get rid of him? The shroud is. Uh, oh, yeah, well, it's five, seven. 
So I'm investigating two, three, four, five. No, no points in trying. I'll just go and uh, look at the locations over here. So I'll move. Let's go to the cloister. One shot, one clue. There are no clues on cloister parlay. Test uh, willpower or intellect four. If you succeed, remember that you have found the tower key. Well, that's useful. So we'll investigate with auger. I'll commit. I'll actually won't investigate this round. I'll just play the key ring. I'll investigate next round. So we'll discard these. Uh, we drop hand one, two, three, four, five. And we hit the lost soul weakness, which is really nasty. So check campaign log if you have more doubt than conviction. We have more conviction than doubt test. Uh, willpower X, where X is your intellect. So uh, we are testing four versus something. Well, I'll go six versus two. Minus one will pass. And that is it. We'll gain a resource. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. And counter card for this round is. With Bayaki, lowest remaining sanity bow, it engages us. Mm. Okay, well, I'll just try to fight it. First action, I'll use uh, use this for cornered. So uh, four versus two, minus two. So uh, two versus two. Minus one, we fail. Okay, we'll just evade. Minus five, we fail. We'll evade again. I'll use this uh, cornered. Uh, so six versus two. Uh, tablet is a um, uh, reveal another token if you fail, let's do one on each agenda. Minus four. Uh, so six versus two. So we still uh, evade. And that's it. Okay, well, that was a close one. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. This guy already is engages us again. I'll actually mark this guy. Like so. Uh, we discard our hand, we draw four, five, one, two, three, four, five. No weaknesses, and we can resource. So our hand, look what I found, drawn to the flame, shriveling, unexpected correction, six cents, so... There are, we have a bunch of weaknesses coming, so this isn't looking good. And... Uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Encounter card is uh, Haster's Grasp, Barrel Hidden. Secretly add Haster's Grasp to your hand. Uh, post after one or more doom is placed on the A agenda, take two damage and discard Haster's Grasp. Okay. First thing uh, we'll fight. I'll commit Unexpected Courage. And throw that to cornered. So we're uh, six versus two. <laughs> Another curse. Four versus two. Uh, minus two. So we actually pass. Deal one damage. Second action. We'll fight again. Uh, we discard the shriveling. Four versus two. At least we got the curses out of the bag. Yeah, reveal another token. Minus one, we succeed. We deal another damage. Last action, we'll discard six cents. 
with cornered fight four versus two. Minus two, we kill the swift by a key. That, that, that was so inefficient, but at least we got, that, got it done. And uh, no enemy actually will go to upkeep. We discard this, this stays in our hand. We draw one, two, three, four. No weaknesses. Okay, so they, they must be really at the bottom. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. I'll actually add it here because I want to get rid of this. So I'll take two damage. One here. One here. And counter card for this round is... Hunter by Bayaki test agility 6. If you fail, re reveal the top X cards then encounter. Check where X is the amount of you failed by. If at least one by a key enemy is revealed by this effect, choose and draw one of them. If at least one omen treachery is revealed by this effect, take one horror, so they come to deck. Okay, so I'm committing, so I'm two versus six. Six versus six, we add one curse to the bag. And we'll commit this to the test. Cornered, so eight versus six. Minus five. Well, eight versus six, so we fell by three. One, two, three. No buyer keys. Uh, one omen, so I'll take a horror and we shuffle this. Okay, uh, not the worst, not the best, it is what it is. Okay, quick shuffle, and let's continue. Well, um, I'll investigate, I'm using Ogre. Uh, 5 versus 1. Uh, minus 2, we succeed, we grab this clue. I'll actually spend a clue to add a doom over here. And uh, second action, we'll do the test. I'll commit this. So uh, we are the power of nine versus four. Elder sign. Well, that that is great. We'll just leave this weakness here and we'll shuffle the whole of our discard pile into the deck. We also mark this that we succeeded. Well, that, that was like the best timing for because look, our uh, end of the deck had all the other weaknesses. So this is great. This is why I, I like Patrice. So you see most of your deck every game and uh, well, of course you can't predict if you draw any of any uh, elder signs during the game, but when you do, it feels great because it's effective, every, uh, impactful every time. Okay. Uh, last action, we'll move to Knight's Hall. Uh, so, two shroud, one clue. If there are no clues on Knight's Hall, investigate, investigate using no, uh, uh, using agility instead of. Intellect, if you succeed, instead of discovering clues, remember that you have found power key. Okay. I think we should have the different one in play, because we don't... Okay. Yeah, I, I think I messed up. We should have, if we have this new one, so we have this one. Okay. Uh, okay, so, if there are no clues on Knight's Hall test, uh, Combat or Agility Tree, if you su succeed, remember that you have found a guide. Okay. And that is our turn. Our enemies will go to upkeep, we discard this, we'll play it while we discard it. We draw five, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, 
Uh, Stray Cat, Promise of Power, look what I found. Unexpected Courage and Patricia's Violin, so pretty decent hand for next round. And we gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We had a Doom, uh, 4 of 6 on the B agenda. Uh, spawn of Halai. Uh, okay, so it spawns on us, unfortunately. Okay, well... Um, we leave 8. We are 3 versus 2. I'll go 5, 6 versus 2. No. I'll go... Six versus two with this. So now uh, we could use mist, but I'm saving it. Uh, minus four, so we are barely able to evade it. Okay. Um, second action. We'll investigate. I'll commit. Promise of power, and we're, we're investigating it over. So, five and nine versus three. We add a curse to the back. These are discarded, so. Curse. Tablet. Minus three. This is five minus five, so we were investigating uh, uh, six, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine versus three. So nine versus yeah, we still succeed. <laughs> A bit lost with the math there, but we barely succeeded, so I'm immediately putting that clue onto the, this agenda to advance it faster. Uh, last action, we'll uh, do the agility test, so I commit this and use this to the corner, and we are uh, doing the agility test with uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 versus 3, 7 versus 3. Tablet minus one, we succeed, so we find found the guide. That is our last action. So uh, we go to upkeep this ready. We draw one, two, three, four, five. Watcher from another dimension, hope, uh, transfer supplies, moonstone, and look what I found. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Oh yeah, and, uh, this ready is, and let's go to the next round after this engages us again. Uh, we had a doom, so actually this advances. Okay, spawn the set aside beast of Aldebaran enemy in the chapel of Saint Valbert. Check Campbell note if Ashley Clark is not listed under VIP Slain search collection for Ashley Clark and spawn her at Port de la Vance. Uh, remove the set aside Act 3C card from the game Advanced Agenda 3C. Your objective lies within the other agenda deck, so we were on the wrong track here. Okay. Okay, so we need to go to the Abbey Tower, but this Beast of Aldebaran spawns there. And we have to search for Ashley Clark, which I always forget to search for in advance, so just a moment. Ok, 
Okay, so Ashley uh, spawns over here. And the beast spawns in the uh, a bit tower. So we're pretty much boned here, but we'll play along. Mm, okay. Then we'll get an encounter card. And uh, uh, it is a rift seeker. So after rift seeker attacks you, you must either take one additional damage and one additional horror, or place one doom on each agenda in play. Our action, place one Doom on each agenda in play and take two horror. Call I discard Rift Seeker. Okay. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we didn't put this into play. We put, need to put the uh, agenda to see in. Uh, no. Okay, well, I'm I'm a bit hazy now. Uh, so where is agenda three C? Yeah, where uh, I misplaced that probably. Agenda three C. Oh yeah, they are here. Oh, stupid me. Okay, so Solid Sky. It's monster enemy gets plus one fight. So, um, yeah, uh, we have a Doom Clock of eight on that. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So the Rift Seeker, it is on us. Okay, well, first action, uh, we'll place one Doom on each. This and Parlay discard Rift Seeker and take two horror. Okay, we're one horror away. What it is, what it is. I think this is the end of uh, Patrice, but yeah, not looking good. Uh, okay, okay, so yeah, this enemy is on us again. So, second action, we will evade. I will use this for cornered. Tablet. Minus two. We succeed. Yeah, because we're three versus we evade. We'll move over here. And that is our turn. We discard our hand. One, two, three, four. A lot of investigative stuff, but nothing really good. So just place that over there. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom over here. And count the cardies. Let's merge. Test uh, willpower 3 if you fail. Let's just test first. I'll just commit this to corner. Uh, 7 versus 3. Minus 3. We succeed so we don't read the rest of the card. Okay, uh, investigating here. I'm using Augur. So, uh, there are still two agendas in play, so this gets plus two for us. So, five versus five. Uh, we use this for cornered and commit this. So, we're nine versus five. Yeah. Minus one, and we'll immediately spend the clue to put the doom on this one. Uh, second action, we'll move to chapel 
of St. Albert. So You can only discover clues in Chapel of St. Albert if you have three of your remaining sanity. Okay, now I'm a bit confused. Okay. Um, so I think we are supposed to go to the Chapel of St. Albert. Um, yeah, I'm, I think I messed up this setup some way. Okay, mm, I think we don't need to go to the Abbey Tower. Yeah, so we, we definitely need to go here. But uh, you can only discover clues in the chapel of St. Albert. Did we spawn the Tomb of Aldebar in the correct location. Oh yeah, this haunted last round. Okay, yeah. So we spawned the East of Aldebar into the wrong place. Yeah, that that explains a lot. So we have this massive thing to worry about. So we maybe we won't move here. <laughs> So we'll move here to try and get some more clues. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's our last action. Uh, well, investigate, move. Well, we can still investigate here. Yeah. So I'm investigating. Uh, well, two versus three. Tablet. Auto fail. Uh, if you fail, place one room on each agenda. Well, that helped a, a bit. Okay, and that's our last action. So we go to upkeep. We go one, two, three, four. We get stupor. Really annoying. So stupor is uh, after you take a parlay, draw, or investigate action, you cannot take any of those types of action for the remainder of the turn. And uh, we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we are doomed. So oh yeah, this. We'll advance. Shuffle the encounter, discard pile, and both set of five copies of Tidal Terror into the deck. The current C agenda. If agenda, uh, if uh, agenda one C is not current agenda, do not mark any. Okay, so we don't do anything, and uh, these get shuffled with the encounter discard pile. More enemies! Oh, how fun! Okay, we'll draw an encounter card. It is. Delusory evil, so I'll just. You must either secret it. Okay, so place one to on the current agenda. I'll just place this. Okay. And that is it. Okay, uh, first thing we'll do is we will go onto the flame here. And uh, we'll test agility three. I'll commit this uh, this with cornered and this on its own. So 
zero we pass so we don't have to read the rest of the card actually and uh, we'll move over here so there are three clues here okay and this moves here and uh, Uh, I think I forgot to do one action, but I don't have anything to do with that action, so we'll just draw one, two, three, four. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. Encounter card is. It's a Rift Seeker. Okay. So I'm just doing the parlay on the Rift Seeker. So I'll add one Doom to each. Get rid of it. This is maybe dumb, but I don't have any way to fight, so this saves some time. Our first action, we will Augur investigate so 5 versus 2. I'll commit this, so 7 versus 2. Minus 3. Uh, we'll just immediately use that. I think we used one last. I, I can't remember. Maybe we didn't. Okay. And uh, we'll investigate using the lockpicks. Or, no, I mean the old keyring. So, 2 versus 0. Minus 2. So we pass. We'll grab a clue. We'll do that again. 2 versus 0. Auto fail. So we don't lose a lockpick. Uh, that is our turn. It's enemy hunt here. Upkeep. Uh, discard these. One, two, three, four. Okay. And we get a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom. We're one doom away from advancing that, so we can go try to get to the Chapel de Albert. Haunted by a Bayaki. Okay, I'll commit this and use that for cornered. So six versus six. Minus one. Look at the top card. It is a pact and not a Bayaki, so nothing happens. Okay, and uh, we'll investigate using Augur. We'll actually even don't even spend any clues here. Minus one, we'll grab this clue. We'll move. Oh yeah, Ashley is coming, so we'll die to horror if she attacks us. So we probably won't move anywhere. We'll just, uh, we don't have anything to play. We'll draw a card. Okay, well. Oof, I, don't, I don't have anything to do here, so. We'll just. Draw a card. No, no. Gain a resource. Okay. We'll lose this. Ashley moves here. And. We get one, two, three, four, five, uh, four. No weaknesses. We can a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Mm, yeah, we got to ready. So uh, we add and advance this agenda. So uh, the path to Carcosa. Mm, remove the remainder of this agenda deck from the game and replace it with the set aside Act 3A card. Advance with that Act card. Act 3A. Now I have misplaced that Act card. Act 
Eh. Must be on the table somewhere, but I'm not seeing it. Maybe I uh, put it accidentally over in, in here. Maybe. Yeah, uh, okay, Act 3A. <laughs> Well, stupid stuff happens when you're playing fast. Okay. So, um, if it's in undefeated an investigator is at the chapel of St. Over and there are no clues on that location, advance. Well, well, well. We'll see how that goes. So, we'll get an encounter card, hustle, grasp. Um, we'll add this to our hand. We can't add any Doom on that A agenda anymore, so this will remain in our hand for the rest of the game. Locking up our hand. It is what it is, so... First action, we'll move. This engages us. Uh, we'll use the Mr. Brulee to evade. I am committing... Zeal. Or are using it with corners. So we are six ver seven versus four zero. We evade and we get to move again. And Ashley is over here, exhausted. Uh, last action. We'll play the shriveling. Why not? Okay, and that is our turn, so go enemy actions will go to upkeep. Let's check this hallway, uh, draw or investigate. Okay. Okay, I, I might have misplayed by investigating twice, but I don't care. This is so hard to remember. And uh, I think we are hitting a brick wall when we get to that last location because we're nearly dead to horror, but yeah. So, uh, we discard our hand. Draw one, two, three. And gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom here, and count the card is. World Smerge, test willpower 4, uh, willpower 3. Okay, well, I'll commit perception to the test with the corner. 7 versus 3. Tablet. Aha, uh -huh. it's an uh, elder sign, so we succeed. Uh, glimmer of hope there, so we'll leave that. Shuffle these into our deck. At least we won't deck out. That is the mythos phase, so first action we'll move here. There are two clues here. Uh, you can only discover clues in the chapel of St. Albert if you have three of your remaining sanity to take up to three, four. Okay, well, we only have one sanity left, so we will um, evade uh, three, five, seven versus five. Zero, we evade. We draw a card. And we'll investigate using Ogre. We use Corner to boost. So, 7 versus 3. Minus 1. And that is our turn. Uh, Ashley moves here. We discard nothing. We draw 3. 
one, two, three, and we gain a resource. So that is, and this ready. So that is that round. Let's see if we can finish the game in the next round. Okay, possibly the last round of the game. It's five of uh, eight doom and count cardies. I will add a doom. First action, we'll evade. Uh, three, four, five. Six, seven, versus five. Actually, I'll use them. Yeah, I'll set go seven versus five. On three, we fail. Okay, we'll try again. We use the mist of relay, and I'll commit last chance to the test, so it gives us plus three, so eight versus five, zero, we'll evade. Uh, we'll investigate using auger, mm, five versus two, uh, three, zero, I don't believe this, so yeah, we advance. No, not this card. This card. If each undefeated investigator, this investigator is at the chapel of St. Albert and there are no clues on that location, advance. Resolution 1. Oh dear, that, that was a doozy. Well, we a bit uh, misplayed a bit uh, with this, but I'll let that slide. There's so much thing going on, so... Well... We are going to see the dim car go, so still with that three. So, uh, resolution one in your camp below. Record that you opened the path below. Remove uh, all special tokens and add two cultists and two tablet tokens to the back. And he, at least, not dead. Uh, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory x value of each card in the victory display. And it is two, three, it is three. Four, yeah. So we get four experience. So now I have five. So I think I'll upgrade something with the deck for the last scenario. But yeah, we also get to remove one trauma. So we'll remove one uh, physical trauma, and that is it. So we will continue on to Rimkar Kosa and uh, see how that goes. So uh, that. That was a really, really uh, tough scenario, but we made it through. So, hope you guys liked this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.